Hi guys, it's Marika here from Lake House Vlogs and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to give you a look inside what we are using for nature studies here in the Lake House Homeschool. For those of you who may be new to my channel, hello and welcome. This is our very first year homeschooling here in the Lake House and I have four children. I have an 11 year old, a 6 year old, a 4 year old and a sweet little 2 year old. I do have lots of other homeschool videos if you would like to check them out. I've got a homeschool room tour video. I have a video which um, looks at all the curriculum that we are using in 2019 and a whole bunch of other videos. So please go and check them out. So let's talk all things nature studies. So we do nature studies each week. We are outdoors a lot. We go for walks in the bush. We go um, walks along the beach. We play in our backyard. All those kind of things um, and we have been using this uh, nature notebook which is from the good and the beautiful and I do have a um, short little video about what we do with that so you can go and check that out I will um, put a card up wherever it goes <laughs> I will put a card up here for you so you can go and check that out we are still um, using this notebook um, and um, Usually when we go out for a walk, we might grab it if there's an easy um, activity to do. Um, so we are still using this one um, and a whole bunch of other things as well. So let's get in and show you the things that we are using. These are all the nature study resources that we are currently using. Now because I have uh, three children that I'm homeschooling and it's such a wide variety of ages, I have some things for the little kids and then some things um, for, my, for my older son. Um, so I'll start um, here for what I have for the little kids. So I have this um, loose parts tray. This is just a wooden, um, what is this, cutlery tray from Kmart. And I have these um, insect um, cards here. These insect silhouette cards that I just printed off and laminated. And I will put the link down below for these because these are free so there's all of those there and then I just put together this loose parts tray we have got seashells river stones sticks pine cones and here are some glass beads and what the children do is they grab out um, a silhouette card and um, I usually give them a little chalkboard and then on that chalkboard they use the loose parts to um, try and create the different insects have this um, life cycle sheet again I'll link this down below for you I've just laminated that um, and then here I've got cards for a ladybug bee ant and a butterfly so the idea is they um, get the pictures um, and match the words as well and then um, put the um, whole life cycle um, on onto that sheet so these three books here is what I use um, for my younger uh, children particularly my kindergartner we have this book um, which is called um, All Through the Year by Jane Goodwin and Anna Walker um, and this is great. This is um, an Australian um, version and it just goes through the um, seasons of the year um, and the months um, pertaining to Australia which is excellent because so many books are for the Northern Hemisphere but this one is for the sub Southern Hemisphere for instance in January we are actually hanging out at the beach and then February so this was really good um, for my kindergartner um, to see what's happening um, in the different months of the year um, and what what season it is so that's really good I think I picked this up from um, I think came out um, I will link it down below but that's a really really great one um, and then we use this big book of bugs my older children do enjoy um, looking at this one too this is by Yuval Summer um, again it is a really big book um, and it's got really really beautiful insects I have um, you would have seen that I do have the big book of the blue if you have a looked at my um, other videos that we did from marine biology um, so there is the contents page for you to have a look at and the pictures are just great so I read this um, for my kindergartner and then we will get these um, books out for the illustrations for my older children and when we're um, drawing and creating and painting um, they will use this um, to have a look at okay. 
and Nature's Day um, is a favourite among many homeschoolers um, and we have Nature's Day as well and um, how we use it um, is the at the beginning of um, each season I will get this um, book out and we will begin to read some pages at a time um, with my kindergartner and my daughter who's in grade one and so it just goes through what is happening um, in that season um, and it goes through let me have a look here it goes through what is happening in the garden, the vegetable patch, the woods, the farm, the fields, the pond, the orchard and in the street. Um, so each season they have pages for this. Um, so this has been um, really, really great. Um, my, my children um, enjoy looking at this one just to see what is going on in what season. So when we um, flipped over to winter here recently, um, we got out this book and now we are starting to read um, the winter pages. So we actually don't have snow where we live, um, but it's great for my guys to have a look um, at what snow is like. And then we hope and wish and dream <laughs> about going to the snow. Um, so we really, really like this one. We also have this book, Drawn to Nature, through the journals of Claire Walker Leslie. And I absolutely love, 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 I can't say it enough, love these books. And I know that um, Claire Walker Leslie, she does have other um, books as well that are on my wish list. Um, but so far, we have just got this one. Um, and this is, why I really like it is because she makes nature journaling look really easy and attainable and I look at this and I think oh this is actually you know something that I can do she has done um simple um pen drawings and then just added a little bit of watercolor and then of course um her notes um and so this is just makes it look really achievable like this is actually um something that we could do so give you a little flip through so you can see here she's just got pencil drawings and then put a little bit of paint in and then she's just written about them um, so super super easy and so like like this so for this one um, just looking at the moon and so easy to do again here so what we do, um, what I've done is I have um, tabbed off the different um, sections that she has. So this is the contents page. So she has a section for looking up, looking down, bringing natures indoors, looking out and around, taking your eyes for a walk or drive, and nature season, our season. So I have tabbed each section. So what we do is we turn to a section and we pick um, an activity from this section that we are going to do. So we actually did this one. I think back in May we did this one. So um, we just looked at the sky each day and then we just painted what it looked like and just wrote a little description. And so once we finished that one, then what we did is we just came and we went to the next section, which is looking down, and we chose an activity from this section, which was this one. Um, when we were out walking, we were looking down and we collected anything that we found and we brought it back, laid it out on the table um, and then drew what we had found. And so then what we do is we just come to the next section um, and then take an idea um, out of this section for what she has done and so forth. And that's um, how we are kind of moving through um, this book at the moment. This is the main book that we are using um, at the moment. We use this every week when it comes to um, doing our nature studies. And this is The Wonderland of Nature by Nuri Mass. And this is the um, fifth edition. So this is the most recent one. Um, and I will put a link down below where I got this from. I did splurge and got the um, hardcover version um, because I know we're going to be using this through all of our children. Um, so what this is, this is a, um, a living book. It is by Living Book Press. And I will, sh I will give you a flip book. 
flip through, sorry. So this is really good for all of my Australian followers because this is an Australian book. So here is our contents page. She has got all of the insects here and then goes through animals, plants, the seashore and rocks. And what it is, is just basically um, like a nature journal that she did um, with her children. So it is told like a story um, and then it's got um, simple illustrations. So this is the ladybug one and you can see here it is written as a story about when she was out with her children in the garden and they found a ladybird. And then she's got simple pictures in there as well. So my children really, really enjoy listening to these stories um, and finding more out about the insects that they can actually find out in their garden. That's why I really, really like um, getting this book, um, an Australian one, because this is actually what we can see um, where we live. So I will read um, from here and then my children do an art notebooking page. So we have these journals, which is just a sketchbook that I picked up from Kmart. Um, and here, this is my daughter Emily, she is six. Um, so this is a um, page that we did here. This is um, what she found on her nature walk. The bug family tree. And then she will do some writing um, as well and stick them um, stick them in there. Um, and there's another one. This is the cicada one that she did. So my kindergartner and my first grader really enjoys that book. And my um, older son, who is 11, um, will listen to that as well. And then I just have um, this for him as well, because I just find that's just not quite enough for him. He's hungry for more information. So he'll do that activity with us, and then he will read um, from this book. This is just a DK um, um, insect book that I found. So sorry about that light reflecting. There you go. Um, and this is just on insects. So my son absolutely loves books like this. He um, loves reading um, information um, and he retains the information and then years later he will spurt out all these interesting facts that he has read. Um, so this just goes into a little bit more cool fun stuff for him. And then we'll also check out any, um, he loves to watch documentaries and shows on TV um, that kind of relate to um, this subject. So um, yeah, so he'll watch, um, watch those as well. So there you go, that's a look inside all of the resources that we are currently using for our nature studies. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any questions, please leave a, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.